The Americas opens in Panama this week, and for the first time, all 35 countries will be there. The meeting comes as Cuba and the United States move to reestablish relations, but a key stumbling block remains. Cuba is still on the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism, along with Iran, Syria, and Sudan. CCTV's Nathan King joins us now with more. Yeah, Cuba's about as long, uh, far away from the Middle East as you can get. But given the dynamics of the world today, you also may not think that Cuba is a country that we normally associated with terrorism. Yeah, this designation is a relic of the Cold War, and many U.S. officials acknowledge the restrictions on Cuba will be lifted soon. Uh, but that has to happen before normalized relations with the island nation. <laughs> Tourists enjoying Havana's hospitality. Song and dance can be found on many corners. But since 1982, Cuba has been on the U.S. State Department's list of state sponsors of terrorism. It was during the Cold War when the U.S. accused Cuba of harboring left-wing and armed separatist groups from the FARC in Colombia to ETA in Spain. The designation of being a state sponsor of terrorism resulted in some serious sanctions against Cuba. Arms exports and sales are banned. So-called dual-use items that could have a military purpose are also restricted, as is economic aid to Cuba and other financial restrictions. Those financial restrictions, along with the U.S. trade embargo, mean Cuba is essentially shut out of large parts of the U.S. and therefore global financial system. And unless the terror designation is lifted, Cuban diplomats say U.S. bank accounts and funding embassies and consulates will be off limits. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. After announcing the new policy in December, U.S. President Barack Obama launched a review of Cuba's designation as a state sponsor of terror. It's nearly complete, and the chief U.S. negotiator with Cuba says Havana may be off the list by the time the Summit of the Americas starts in Panama City or soon after. You're getting to the end of a process. I can't tell you exactly when everything is going to roll out. But we are at the end of that process. We are finishing this up. But there are other sticking points, including how embassies will operate, the number of diplomats, and how much freedom of movement they will have. U.S. officials are urging patience. When you consider the 50-year history between our two countries, uh, three months doesn't seem like very long. For Cubans, they say getting off the list would be a signal of respect from Washington. And we have to understand those differences. But at the same time, uh, we need to acknowledge the importance of uh, getting a, you know, in a normal, in a civilized relationship, acknowledging those differences and respecting them. And for Cuba, there's also a historical wrong to correct here. The U.S. used to sponsor Cuban exile groups who have been linked to acts of terror, including the downing of a Cuban passenger jet, yet Washington was never sanctioned over it. Over it. This terror designation may be a relic of the Cold War, but it's also... A uh, reminder of the unequal relationship, Mike, between Washington and Havana, which, of course, has been going on for more than half a century. There always seems to be sticking points. And I remember last year, uh, Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey making a big deal about this fugitive that went to Cuba. Yes. How much of a sticking point is that still? Yeah, that uh, fugitive shot a state trooper uh, uh, in New Jersey and is wanted for murder. Uh, at one point, there was about 70 fugitives of justice from the U.S. in Cuba. That number has gone down. But, of course, this is a big sticking point. They want extradition treaties. They want these people back home. Uh, uh, to, to face trial as well. All this has to be worked out. The negotiations are going slower than some had expected. Uh, but after 50 years of pointing fingers at each other, at least they're sitting down at the same table. This announcement may not come diplomatically in time for the summit of the Americas, uh, but it's going to happen soon. A slow plotting process, I guess. Yeah. Nathan, thanks so much.